So this is the seat that all the famous people sit on. You can have May that I one. smell it, please? <laughs> oh, oh, for sure. Stars, stars, I can tell. Now you're one of them yourself. Yeah. You're wearing your, your shirt on the right side in and uh, proper side out. That's good. That's a start. I think so. Now you are, uh, I mentioned when I introduced you, it is, uh, you, you there is not a large group of uh, Canadian comedians. Uh, do you consider yourself any kind of a trailblazer, Marla, in the field of... Uh, is that a kind of jacket you wear? Female comedy. Blazer? It's like a pioneer. Oh, I see. No, I just do my thing, you know. I'm just born funny. I just go out and do it. I'm not doing any opening any paths for anybody. I think if anybody's funny, and if they're women, they should get out there and do it. And don't be inhibited, and don't let those men tell you, hey, only the men can be funny. Damn it, obviously they're not, right? Unless I'm a transsexual, and I'm both then, okay? <laughs> and I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay. But there are, uh, I, I have heard complaints from, from women that, uh, that club owners, for instance, and even audiences are, are a little biased. They're, they're a little resistant to ladies well, who get up on stage. Well, haven't they been since day one? Sure. But you just explained that you don't think that that should be an intimidating factor for any women who want to get on stage. I and said, go fun. and fight it. If nobody fights it, how are you going to break it? I mean, if no blacks go out and try to be doctors, if no gays go out and try to be teachers, I mean, how are we going to establish any precedent? <laughs> but how did you fight it yourself then? I just went out there and did it. I had beer bottles thrown in my nose and stuff and, and called the most rudest things I've ever heard of. But you just go out and you do it and mm -hmm. you prove that you either have to be funnier than any man and then you're considered an equal because you're better than. Uh, you just you just try your best and that's it. Am I sensing a little no, you're not. bitterness no, 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 here, no, no, Marla? No, 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 a little no. bitter. I know I said that. Yes? No. Well, it, it's, it hasn't been easy because you do feel hostility because uh, the first few seconds, hmm, she's a woman, she's funny, what are we going to do about it? I don't know, should we laugh? Are you going to laugh? If you laugh, I'll laugh. <laughs> or her parents, should we laugh? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Now, do you get that from, uh, from just the men or do the women have a Oh, the women resistance? too. They're very inhibited. Yeah, usually it's the men who are my biggest supporters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, um, but then some women come up and go, geez, thanks a lot, you're doing a great job for us and everything. Yeah. And uh, my parents are getting used to it, too. You know, my father was always the one. I didn't tell you about my father. <laughs> my father, he's, he's great, he's great. And uh, he, he always goes, that's my little kid. You know, that's my little monkey out there doing all the jobs. She's funny, <laughs> yeah. she's, that's my kid over there. Just in her, you know, big nose and everything. Thighs. And my mother's, that's my kid, that's my kid. <laughs> <laughs> that's my kid, the one up there doing the cocaine jokes. <laughs> that's my little guy. But didn't you, you assure them afterwards that much of what you do is done for comedic effect? And, uh, well, gosh cocaine was not the one that worried them. No? <laughs> no not that comment. No. <laughs> it's nice to have you with us, and uh, this is kind of a new talent time today. Two uh, terrific young people who are uh, making their uh, inroads, and uh, yes, and it and, uh, looks like we've established a couple here, in fact. We have some more people to bring out after uh, these words. First, we're taking two minutes off, and we'll be back. So.